So Gloucester fishermen have been battling the federal government for years over new restrictions on fishing, but more recently, they seem to be getting a lot more political attention. First, Charlie Baker put the spotlight on them here at Channel 5 Studios in their debate, his final debate, then Martha Coakley, and now Seth Moulton. Do they have any more political leverage because of this, Rob? Well, I wish they did, but I'm not sure they do. Uh, we've, their problem is with the federal government. And in the past, we've seen federal elected officials, Ted Kennedy, John Kerry, Barney Frank, go to bat for the fishermen uh, and not win, even though they had a lot of influence with the Fed. So I'm not sure it's, it's going to change. Is D.C. going to just sort of put their hands over their ears and not hear any of this, Marianne? Uh, unfortunately, D.C. doesn't work. I agree with Rob. When you look at the people who have already in the past tried this, it is great they're getting more attention, and it's well-deserved. But unless there's a change, it doesn't help them. Best week, Rob. You're up first. Go. Charlie Baker. Uh, He's had a run of successful cabinet appointments, well received. Uh, again, this week he appointed Kristen Lepore as Secretary of Administration and Finance. Uh, a great choice, a smart choice, and, and another well received choice. Marianne, read the tea leaves. Best week? Uh, Angela Menino, who had a lovely letter in the Boston Globe yeah. thanking everybody for their support yeah. in the wake of the loss of Mayor Menino and her husband and how much it meant to her and her family. Well done. Neither one of you followed the Dan Rivera plan is to answer Kung Fu Panda <laughs> to, to everything. And you could have answered Kung Fu Panda. Right. We could have. You know, we're talking about local aid, and the Red Sox threw 200 million at two guys. That's some pretty good local right. aid. That's they, the big news. They could news. have paid for the local aid instead yeah. of uh, for the players. All right, here's the toughest question of the morning. Mary Again, starting with you, Patriots Packers Super Bowl preview, yes or no? That's all I want to hear. No. Whoa! Packers don't make it. <laughs> Rob, Super Bowl preview in, in Lambeau, historic Lambeau Field. I'm, I'm going to say yes. Yeah. Aaron Rodgers looks pretty good. Tom Brady looks pretty good. The answer to the question is yes. The Patriots will play the Packers. I'm not sure which game the Patriots are going to win, but I guarantee you the one in February they will. <laughs> I think February 1st, by the way, if you're setting your calendar and you're going ahead and establish when you want to go away to the Super Bowl, which is in Glendale, Arizona this year. Thank you to Marianne Marsh and Rob Gray for joining us next week. The Duke! Former Governor Michael Dukakis is here on OTR. Until then, on behalf of Jenna Wu and myself, thank you for watching this and every Sunday. And remember, every Sunday we go on the record.